The moment we've been waiting for is finally here. It's huge, dude. That was massive. Look at that. Phase two of our home build is beginning and it's one heck of an undertaking. Cause it's going to be a huge job. The renovation house has proven to be a complicated task. There's nothing here is easy, nothing. <laughs> Nothing's easy here, everything's messed up. The house needed a major overhaul and one of the biggest issues was the roof. Everywhere is coming down, the floors are ruined. Once we submitted to just taking on the projects ourselves, things started to turn around. We got our feet wet when we first got here, now we're rolling. Yeah. I no fear here, not, none whatsoever. We've been waiting for a really long time for what would be the actual right time for us to break ground on the back bedroom wing of the house. And today is finally that day. Feels pretty surreal to be here and actually know that it's beginning because it's going to be a huge job. <laughs> We've been working together with Sarah and Jacob on how to successfully tie the existing house into the addition. It's going to be a challenge, but that's part of what makes this build so exciting. The first big battle to building the uh, bedroom wing onto the house is we gotta cut out roughly three and a half feet of dirt so we can bring the house back because we actually built it on a slope. So the more we come back, the, we go in the, into the dirt. So we gotta cut about three and a half feet out. That's why I have such a big machine here. Also, um, we try to keep as many trees as we can around the house as you guys can see, but for instance, with the storm we had last time, the trees falling, we want to keep a nice, good, safe distance of trees from the house, so we can use this machine to push everything down. Dude. That was massive. Look at that. Next thing we gotta do is clear all the brush, get the trees out of here, and also dig out the entire pad. Um, once we get that to grade, that machine goes back and we start footers, and I'll tell you what, I'm super excited. I know the kids are excited. Ellie's the most excited of the bunch. She wants her own bedroom. So it's taken, I think, four years now we've been building this house. So it's taken a long time to get this bedroom wing started, but we're ramping up and ready to go. The house is going to be two levels with a large pantry space next to our existing kitchen, an office which is currently the laundry room, and the existing laundry room will be moved to the back side of the house. This is right off of what will be the safe room and the stairs that leads to the second floor. We've also got a homestead kitchen that runs into the mud room that walks out to the back side of the house. And on the second floor, we have bedrooms for both Josh and I, the two boys, and Allie. As we work out to dig out, form up, and pour the footer of this addition, we are also tackling what we think is going to be the last major issue at the renovation house. So we are back at the renovation house today. A lot of progress has been being made over here, which is really exciting. Yep. And we actually weren't expecting to be back here, I guess, like working, just kind of checking on things. Um, Disaster struck. <laughs> again. Again. Um, the entire house is flooded, put, put it that way. Uh, we had uh, the roof here. Um, I guess we have a hard time with contractors around this area. There's only 12,000 people in the county, and uh, we live in the middle of nowhere, so getting a good contractor in this area, it's hard to find because the ones that are good are booked up, the ones that are not booked up aren't that good, and the ones that are from out of town are busy out of town, and they are not coming here to... They have enough work where they're at, so yes. there's no need for them to come all the way out here. So getting back to that, so we had a roofer here, and... Uh, he tore the roof off like he's supposed to, put the underlayment down and said I'll be back in a week. So okay, he said it was not gonna leak. Um, they came back the following week, the bus, they came over here on a Friday, they came back the following Friday, they started to put the eaves up. Um, they got one eave up and uh, one of their guys got stung by a bee. They got nothing done the rest of the day and they can't be back the following week because his guy is stung by a bee. So, so the roof was off for 
far longer than we ever would have expected because you yep. would think if somebody's going a professional is going to take the roof off that they know how big of an issue that is and they are going to put the roof back on like quickly not like <clears throat> pull roof off put a new roof on that's how it goes right not wait a couple weeks here and there with the roof's being off so um the entire place flooded look at how it's rain right now Roof wrap still on there. And it's right inside the house too, the wrap on there, on top of the roof. Yeah. Come down from the roof everywhere. Everywhere is coming down. Floors are ruined. They're all gonna get torn out now. The subpar roof job that was done. The wrap didn't do anything. Outside. Let's go back here to show the roof. Still has everything on it. We'll go back some more. Yeah. So it still has a wrap on there and it is leaking like a sieve. The entire floor is ruined. <sighs> the floors are bubbling up everywhere. We have fans running the dry everything out. There's a probably about 20% chance we'll be able to save the wood floors. 20% chance. The, the bigger chance we're going to remove all the wood floors we're planning on keeping and uh, put new floors in. Yeah. So that's our disaster we have. The floors are bubbled up everywhere. Yeah. We're hoping that we're going to be able to sand them down enough and recover them. But the priority today is 100% we're going to get up there, we're going to handle the situation, and yep. we're going to get the eaves up and we're going to resheathe the roof. Yeah, we need to handle this today because time is of the essence. We're gonna get 10 sheets up there. It's gonna be the first thing we start with and it should go fairly easy. And uh, once we get loaded up, we're already halfway done. So the order of operation is we pull up there, we peel everything off, we put the anchors up there, get the harness on, and get rocking and rolling. Sounds good. We've worked on a couple of roof projects before and nothing makes me as nervous as getting set up because Josh has to climb up there without his harness actually attached so that he can get us anchored in at the very top and that way we can safely work on the roof. But that whole setup process without him attached to anything, it's nerve wracking for sure. Hi, you ready? All right, so we're tied in. We're both into the rafters below. And uh, as uh, some of you guys may know, I'm absolutely terrified of heights. It is a nice view up here. But uh, once I get up and down three or four, five, six, seven times, I'll start getting used to it. This side is not the bad side. You stay on this side fairly easy. It's a little bit of a slope. It's this side right there that's uh, very, very steep. 
I'm not sure why. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure why we don't, like all the houses we do are big, huge slope roofs like this. Not a fan. I'm just not. And I know this is good and we're safe, but me, me being tied off, it doesn't mean I'm not a little bit nervous, you know? It's okay. You good, buddy? Yeah. We're gonna chalk a line where the new rafters are at and we're gonna nail the two bys down to the rafters because they're never nailed down by the roofer. And we get started on doing all the OSB on the entire house. You know this is tight enough. This is gonna take all day. <laughs> You're never gonna get up there. <laughs> you good, girl? Oh. Ow, okay, Josh. It does not need to be that tight. <laughs> it does. Nice and tight is the way to go, girl. Yep. I'm not gonna fall off that roof. I don't know, but it is now. Uh -uh, you're gonna be good, hon. Good girl. Whoa, that's heavy. That's very heavy. That's what's gonna make me fall. I think they're gonna drag me right down the roof. Are you gonna save me? Okay, Josh. Okay. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> you work with the boss, man. You know what I mean? It smacked around a little bit. Okay. You're the secretary. <laughs> nah, close to true. <laughs> Alright, you gotta hold straight, girl. There you go. I'm up. Good. Alright, here it comes, girl. So I'm up here on the ridge taking a look at what the previous roofer did and now I'm no roofing expert but I do know how to follow instructions and when we're putting underlayment down they very clearly have the upper portion and the lower portion which are all overlaid and they have it marked out for you how much the each sheet should be overlaid by the one prior to it and then it says nail here so you nail along the top portion that's overlaid and then you nail along the bottom portion of that sheet that's overlaid by the sheet below it if that makes sense what you do not do is go and throw staples all the way across the center of the sheets where nothing is overlaid because then you are opening that up to water seeping in and that's exactly what happened in this case there are staples just all the way through all the middle portions of the roof. That's why the entire top floor of the house flooded. It was done wrong, completely incorrect. Now we're gonna fix it. <laughs> Roof's not square. What a surprise. Just nothing here is easy. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's easy here. Everything's messed up. <laughs> so, the way it is now, we went along with the bottom. As it goes up, it's going to come off the overhang. It's just going out that way. So, we got some cutting to do. Oh, 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 down, 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 down. What should we title this episode? House bought on Nightmare Street? <laughs> That's not the, a bad one. The roof ain't square, capital ain't. Yep. Or the house flooded. <laughs> the house flooded. <laughs> the floors need to get torn out. The roofer screwed me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of titles for this one, girl. <laughs> and none of them are clickbait either. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what if we just hang this piece way down past it so that it accommodates for it dropping down over there? And then we can stack all of them up flat and when we're done we can come back and we can just cut it off where it needs to be. I think we should take it, put it on the line right there on the edge right here, have it come all the way down so it's not out of square, but it goes up the side the entire way 
and then once we get all the way up and done, we come back and chalk a line and we cut it. Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> Yeah, and rephrased it and repeated it to me. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> We're staggering the sheets as we go up. We're starting with an eight foot sheet and then we're bumping them over. We'll start the four foot sheet and just stagger it as we go up and nail everything together. And as we go up, we're using the uh, package of nails. It gives about an eighth inch gap between all the sheets of the OSB. Look no further, guys. We found ourselves a roofer. I enjoy the job. I do. She loves it. It's uh, it's something new. We haven't done this in a long time. Yeah, it's been and a couple years. It's been a few years, and I think I was the main uh, contributor on the other roof going up there. You were passing the the uh, OSB I was through doing the rafters. The heavy lift lifting, and you were trying to dance in your cowgirl boots. They're, they're, they're manly boots. I'm not sure if you know that or not. They're not roofing shoes, that's for sure. <laughs> not tennis shoes, you're right about that. So, we're rolling guys. Um, everything's going smooth. I guess the easiest part about this, um, versus I guess the last house we did, or, or A-frame I should say, is we had to get, land everything up perfectly on the rafters. Here, we're just nailing every, every 16 inches or so across, and we have a uh, two by six tongue groove across the entire thing. We are hitting the rafters where we are nailing it down, but the rafters are every four feet apart. So we're hitting the rafters, also going right through the uh, two by sixes. So it's not a big, it's not nearly as tough as the last house. It's also not as steep. Definitely not as steep. So yeah. on the last house, we didn't use, I had a harness on, but we had walk boards up there every so often. Yeah. And it was a kind of, it was a little bit of a pain, a little nerve wracking. We got our feet wet with that, and we got our feet wet when we first got here, and now we're rolling. Yeah. I no fear here, not, none whatsoever, right? Yeah. And uh, I found a new roofer now for the next house we're doing. That's the addition of the A-frame, it's Aaron, so we're cr she's crushing it. Stay tuned and you'll watch me properly staple down underlayment. <laughs> Of course, the roof's off. It's gonna start pouring on us. We're not supposed to start raining until Saturday, and today's, I'm not sure what day it is, not even close to being Saturday, but it's rain.
Thank you.